Hello there, welcome to the Maple Veg Patch. So I'm down here today, uh, this is our fortnightly um, vlog that we're doing. So we'll take you for a tour around, um, tour of the allotment, you can have a look at what's what. It's a beautiful day, it's about 18 degrees. Um, uh, yeah, everything's good, but everything's very green, growing well. Not had anything major to talk about in regards disasters or things not growing quite like like they should other than what I've already told you um, greenhouse project still ongoing waiting for some wood for that in fact that's what I'm here for today I'm supposed to be having it delivered uh, at some point so I can get on making the base for the greenhouse and uh, hopefully in the next week or so or the next vlog at least you'll, you'll see some progress on that um, so yeah uh, really enjoying it, can't, can't say enough about it, one of the best things I've ever done to be honest, fresh air, even when it was winter and it was cold, we were down here, we loved it, um, fresh air, lovely allotment tears on here, neighbours all talking to each other, sharing stuff, um, sharing tips and advice, you know, um, it's blooming great, but I will say there's a lot of weeds, that's what we found out, there's a lot of weeding to do, we've got to keep up on them weeds, um, so I'll turn you around, take you for a walk round, show you some of the progress, some of the plants growing. Uh, you're probably presently surprised, I am, well I am every time I come down to be honest. So, uh, here we go, I'll just turn you around. Uh, right, let's go. So this is the uh, the usual, that's still ongoing. And greenhouse is up against the back wall there. So here we have the tomatoes. Tomatoes doing well, cucumbers. Let's see if I can get a bit further in. Looking a bit yellow. Oh no, they're alright, I suppose. So there's cucumbers, there's a couple more down there as well. Tomatoes. Had a couple of uh, these ones, uh, plum tomatoes. Golden Sunrise, another plum, had them two given. Um, peppers in the cold frame, they're still doing okay. So uh, yeah, the shed shrunk, I noticed that, the wood on the shed shrunk. You can see where we painted it during cold weather in winter. And how, how much it's, it shrunk back. From where, in fact it split there on that nail. That's how, that's how drying out, that's how dry it is, the wood. But anyway, we're brand new, still a little sitting, a little sitting area there. Um, carrots. I'm going to take the lid off, I'll show you underneath. If you can see in there or not. But I just watered them, that's why they look a bit battered over, but they'll come back. I'm going to build a little bit of a, a mesh for them today to keep the carrot fly off. Uh, the, that fruit, Victoria Plum, it's just done nothing, that. I think I mentioned it in the last vlog. So I, I don't know whether to get back onto it. People who I bought that off and tell them it sold me a dud, really. So, yeah, uh, down here we have his herb patch, they're coming on well. Parsley, mint, I always grow mint in a pot, apparently, it takes over. And if you could see them for these four here, they were given to me their beetroot. I'm not going to too many beetroot, I'm not a lover of it anyway. So I've got a row of, I put two rows of beans in. I put two rows of beans in. All the way down there, one row's come up, and the other one nothing. So I don't know what's happened there. But they look alright then, I think they're doing alright, I think they've been nibbled a little bit, but... Next to that is spinach. Spinach doing well. No doubt somebody will mention that you shouldn't grow spinach and beans next to each other, they're not uh, compatible, but anyway, that's what we've done. Uh, broad beans, my only two broad beans out of it, or three, I think there is three. Well, the only thing that come of them is that, and that little one there, but, got plenty of broad beans on look, can you see? And there's plenty of broad beans there what we need anyway for now and then 
as row of peas. So this end, I just put the peas straight into the soil. But as you go further up, interestingly, I actually grew these in that little greenhouse thing, in pots. And these are the best ones so far, look how they've come on. And they were all planted at the same time. So that's his row of peas. Blackberry Cascades, watered them this morning. Jane's got a couple of sunflowers going in this in this pot there. Look, they've just come through. And then potatoes. That is a full bed of potatoes. First earlies, second earlies and main crop at the top. So that's not doing they're not doing too bad in fact. See if I can grab one. They're starting to flower. There you go. So we're hoping for good things out of them to be honest. And then in this new mesh tunnel we planted some swede and then we planted that you can't see but we planted some cauliflowers I don't know why they've disappeared but there is some cauliflowers in there anyway uh, cabbage and uh, yeah cabbage cauliflower and swede in here that's it but, yeah so there they are underneath the mesh just to protect them from the flies and the grubs and everything else that wants to eat things onions still coming on strong wants weeding that badly can you see absolutely covering weeds in there so we'll have to get we'll get in there at some point and get all them out but yeah they're doing well them onions quite impressed with them then I added a little bit onto the to the end of the leeks and the uh, to the onions uh, tunnel and these have got leeks in you probably can't see them they're only spindly little things but they're leeks take them again I've watered everything so some of it's a bit battered down but I don't know if you can see there there's definitely leeks in there anyway take my word for it uh, apple tree doing well pears I mean, this is doing, doing brilliant with this pair. You can pick up on some of those. There's going to be a bumper crop on there. I wonder what they'll taste like. That's it. Lovely to to find out what's that, what they taste like. And down to a strawberry. So I think we're going to get a decent crop of strawberries as well. Looking at them. And I think I saw one earlier that had already gone red. And it might, there it is, look. There you go. So strawberries coming on, they've got some little roots coming off, so there'll be some, some runners, so there'll be some new plants to be had off them. Apparently you can peg them into the ground and they'll grow a new, a new uh, strawberry plant. So that'll be good. Rhubarb. So I had that one in a pot because it seemed to just disappear off the face of the planet. I put it in a pot, brought it on a bit, put it back in ground and it's, uh, although very small, it's taken off at least anyway. Uh, my other rhubarb there and there. Been eating, <laughs> been eating as you can see. I keep getting these. Every time we seem to get them out, we get these back of the runners off raspberry and they come all the way down here. We've got loads of them. They just keep popping up. They come from there. That, that row of raspberries there, these runners are all the way down here. So these are the ones that uh, were already here when I bought the, when I bought, when I got the plot. But I've put these ones in myself that I've just watered. And they're, uh, they're red ones, they're yellow ones, golden ones. And there's Jane's tulips. 
So that's that. I'll tell you, just take you on a little tour, tour around the corner and show you. So this is, is you come left off our plot if you walk down here. Such a lovely day today. I think I'm the only one here as well today. You come down here, and it goes all the way around up top. All the way around up there. Oh, somebody got the car on, look. And then if you carry on other past that car, over that horizon there, over the top of that hill, I should say, there's absolutely loads more allotments up there. I'll take you for a tour of that one day. And then these are all his neighbours, neighbours' plots. All doing well. They're all good growers, where, where I am, they're all good growers. I don't think there's anybody that's having any any bad luck, really. As you can see, it's all in, in green and in. So, yeah, there you go, guys. The tour of the Maple Veg Patch. Fortnightly tour. Some people said a monthly is better, but we're doing all right with fortnightly. The usual thing, guys, if you've got any hints or tips, any comments, things we should be doing, or just words of encouragement, really, you know. Um, leave it comments, like, subscribe notifications that kind of thing so you'll know when we're putting another another vlog up uh, any suggestions that uh, we ought to be doing yeah let us have them um, and I'll try and keep you posted on the um, greenhouse project if you head over to our Facebook page the maple veg patch um, and join our group on there uh, I'm more likely to put pictures up on there of the project with the with the greenhouse and uh, you can see where, how we're getting on um, and also our little our little carrot cloche cold frame uh, that plastic sheet will be coming off I'm going to um, start netting that out because they're getting quite big them carrots I don't want them to start touching the roof and not to uh, something going wrong like so I'm going to put four four canes in each corner uh, a cane in each corner, four canes Put some netting over it and secure it down and um, and hopefully that'll do the job. Keep the flies off. Carrot flies can uh, can see for miles. Uh, see for miles. Can fly for miles. Uh, yeah. Jane's flower patch. I think that might be the wrong place. That really it's shaded by that tree. There's some suckers. What we did was we just got a pack of seeds flower seeds we mixed them all up in a little container and just and just threw them on to see what had happened really a bit like wild wild garden type type seeding and um, there will have been some in there I'm nearly sure that needed some some sunshine you know some uh, sunny a sunny spot rather than a shade or part shade but we'll see it's all an experiment a little flower basket there uh, gooseberry, bay tree, and obviously our pussy willow. Big thing that. And back down to the bottom. So look out for the uh, greenhouse. Is the next uh, is the next thing. I'll just show you the current state of it, and then you know what I'm dealing with. It's down here, and it's all there. Look. And there's the panels, panels in there. So we'll have to sort through all them. I marked them up when I took it apart. Um, so they should, I should, in theory, be able to put it back how it, how it was. So uh, yeah, tomatoes. Showing you them already. So there you go, guys. The maple veg patch. There's a look up, and that's where we are at minute. So thanks very much chaps for uh, and chapesses for tuning in. Uh, like I say, like, subscribe, comments, tips, hints. Our Facebook page, don't forget about that, that's worth a look. Um, and everything's going great, loving it. Things are growing well. Um, oh, that's what I was going to mention to you. I've got a spare bed. I was going to put something in uh, and nothing's happened. It's still an empty bed, so... Bear in mind it's you know beginning of June. Um, 
any ideas what I can put in it. Somebody mentioned pumpkins or sweet corn, something like that, but um, you know, anything really, just to just to, to fill it up. It's, empty, it's a shame having an empty an empty space. So there you go, guys. Like I said, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for following us. Keep uh, supporting us. Go over to our Facebook page. Thanks very much, guys, and remember, keep gardening.